We're up here at West Branch uh, Bears football practice. This is our sort of media day before the first game. It's sponsored by Main Street Suites. Stephen Grace would be here, but then he made him the fresh soft coach. He just, so, yeah, evidently yeah. he likes football now. Yeah, he this. likes football, so we're going to wing it here. <laughs> I'm with Jason Miller here, the sports information director. I'm Mike Quinlan, voice of the Bears. We're getting ready for Lisbon Friday night, home opener. Um, always an exciting time, Jason, just to, number one, see what you got, yeah. and then to get the season started. And then, you know, in the community, as you well know, is it's just a big thing to have the first game Finally, it's been a year, two years since the first game at home. It's yes. been a home game. Yes. So the fans have been looking forward to this for eight months, nine months now. And they finally get to come out. And it's at the Little Rose Bowl on Friday. And these guys here, you know, have been looking forward to it since, you know, a heartbreaking, a tough loss to a very good Beckman team at the end of the season last year, Mike. And yep. I think they're hungry. And, and they're hopefully going to show that on Friday. Maybe they're going to play a tough Lisbon team, though. Yeah, they are. And, I mean, that's... That's good for preparation for our team is to, to be ready for the first team. We've always had a physical game with Lisbon mm -hmm. the last probably four or five times, mm -hmm. and this uh, will be no different. Um, but I got to tell you, Jason, I really like the look of the West Branch Bears this year. I think we got a lot of athletes, and they really seem to be showing a lot of chemistry and playing together. And I think in that, you're speaking maybe the highest point of that being to see, a, to see our quarterback last year did a fine job mm -hmm. in, in uh, Carver Belk, gets to move back to his more natural position. Mm -hmm. His sophomore year as a wide receiver, he was the downfield threat. He was the big play guy. If you look at the yardage per catch, it was him. But he didn't last year as a quarterback out of necessity. He had a fine job. But also as a quarterback, Butch doesn't like to put his quarterbacks on defense. No, he doesn't. But I think he definitely gonna. That's gonna be a big help as well. Oh, with yeah. the rest of the athletes the Bears have, Mike. I think. And then you throw in Ty Hughes. Yeah, Ty Hughes, new quarterback this year. He's a senior. Uh, played for Liberty High School. Mm -hmm. Grandson of Ronnie Hughes. Yeah. Who had been coach here for a long time. So he's you know, a, a coach's kid. He's smart. He threw the ball well uh, last year for Liberty. And you're right, it frees Carver up, yeah. number one, to go both ways, which you want to put as many athletes on the field as possible. But two, it's going to let Ty focus on being a really good quarterback. And he's got a lot of weapons, I think, don't you? He, yeah, he does. And, and one thing you haven't, we aren't hearing much about Ty so far is, I mean, if you look at his statistics last year, I mean, the rushing statistics weren't there. But you watch him up here, he's a quick kid. Yeah. Very quick. He's got some speed. I mean, he's not going to try and break the field down like Cooper Koenig did seven years ago for yeah. 90 yards at Bellevue or anything. But he's got that kind of just that quick step if he needs to put his foot down on the ground and go. And he's talking about, you know, five, six, seven targets, Mike. And But would, to offset that, when you talk more about Lisbon, is one thing they're predicated upon through the years, they're, they're wrestlers. Yeah, they're so wrestlers. So they're tough, hard-nosed defensive kids. Yeah, they are. And, they, and I expect nothing else. A lot of it's going to depend on how our yeah. line gels because yeah. I, I think our skill positions, we, we have depth and we have speed. Mm -hmm. And obviously with Andy Henson, we have physicality, yeah. you know, but it's the development of the line and that's taken a little bit of time, but I think they'll be ready on Friday night. And I mean, we talked about their defense being physical. West Branch, the Bears returned nine guys. Yeah. Nine kids who started on the defensive side, and that's not counting Carver Belk, right. who was a starter two years ago and now jumps right in there. So the Bears returned basically their entire defense from a team that last year versus Lisbon gave up 109 yards of total, 107 yards of total offense, and 59 of them came on one play from quarterback Cohen Comis, who yeah. returns as their lead as their second leading passer, but their leading rusher returning is Thomas, and Caden Caspers is their leading receiver. I believe caught that football for 59-yard pass. So, but it was 123 yards to 107 yards. Wasn't yeah. exactly your fun PlayStation no, and, game and you want to see, is a but it's not. Battle. It is a battle like that. You know, um, and it gets us ready for the rest of right. the season for the districts. You know, second game we go up to Columbus mm -hmm. Catholic. You know, they beat us last year. They're a ranked team. Yeah. Um, third game, I think, is Maquoketa Valley, and that's our throwback jersey. There you go. We, Dave Macrath usually does either a veterans appreciation or a throwback, and we're going back to the Quakers and the Polar Bears. And that game is going to be on the. What am I saying? Uh, that'll be the ninth. ninth? Third week yeah, of the season. So yes. that'll be on the ninth. So, um, and we're going to start out with a. Uh, 
a display down at the Rummel Center this year on memories of Oliphant Street Field. So there'll be some fun things coming up for this, this football season. And, and yeah, go down and check that. If you got time, if you're in West Branch or you're coming back to visit it all through the entire season, go down to the Rumble Center, which was the old West Branch State Bank, the old U.S. Bank, the old Wells Fargo Bank, that building that's right by the football yeah. field pretty much. Yeah. Go check it out. A lot of great things. And some of you are coming back that played, you might even be a part of it. Yeah. So you can kind of see yourself in the old form in your old jersey. Well, but. one of the initials they have on the back is our age, Roger yeah. Hansen was a uh, head coach uh, for varsity in the late 60s and then again he did it in 75 and yep. 76 so and he um, was the coach of this guy that's been yeah. coaching we well, don't know how many years we can't talk about that yeah. but it's been more than two yeah yeah but he was a big <laughs> influence on yeah. on butch and lurchy yeah you know and i think that's where where the foundation is set for this this program and you know speaking of this program i mean I'm not sure we're getting much respect around the state, but that's fine. We're okay. we're fine with that. We just want to play one game at a time yeah. and improve one game at a time, and I think that's the mindset of this team. It is, and I think a lot of it maybe has to do with the team was seven and three last year, and there are some teams that did bet when you when teams do better. Rankings usually are predicated upon what you do last year. Yeah. They may not even have done any research. This team, a lot of the writers probably don't know that West Branch has a different quarterback this year. Yeah. And West Branch doesn't know what they have in that quarterback until they see a game or two, Mike. And then people are going to maybe start to see, okay, we'll see how this team gels. As you know, the defense always plays better than the offense earlier in the year. So we'll see if the offense catches up. And Friday night is going to be a fun test against well, this. We'll be doing this on a weekly basis, and it's just going to be a blast this year. We'll take it one game at a time. We'll start this Friday with the Lisbon Lions coming to the Little Rose Bowl.